nation of raiders. It's a nation of raiders. We a nation of raiders. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Inbounds with the Oakland Raiders. I'm Lorelai Suarez, and today we get to sit down with one of the hidden gems in the Raiders' wide receiving core, Seth Roberts. Seth, thanks so much for taking the time to sit down with us today. No problem, no problem. Typically, I like to start off with how you grew up, but I wanted to start this interview off differently. And I wanted to start off with something that your fearless quarterback said about you. He said, I don't know why he goes under the radar so much, but that man has made game-winning catch after big-time play and all these things, and it's because he works his tail off. There's no secret. This man goes out there every single day. He puts in the extra work when nobody's watching. He studies his stuff, and he asks me questions. Right. How does that make you feel? You know, uh, really good, man. I didn't know that Derry said that, but, you know, it's my first time hearing it, but... You know, we have each other's back, man. It's a brotherhood here, and it's a circle, you know. So uh, I know he, he goes out, and he gives it his all. So I got to give him all. You know, that's my brother. So I'm riding with him. Now, your path to the NFL hasn't been the easiest. Right. And you're someone who has always said you've worked hard for everything you've you've achieved. Right. And in fact, you know, you went undrafted. Um, you made the practice squad, and then you got cut. And now you're looking at a, a contract extension. Mm -hmm. So talk about the mindset and the work ethic that it required for you to, to take that journey and, and succeed. I think it all started off, you know, just being as a young boy, my dad, you know, the things he implanted in my life. You know, I had a great father figure and a mother figure, you know, so that was big. And, you know, I just never gave up uh, because I always knew in the back of my mind that, you know, I would be here, you know. I never spoke on it, and I hold a lot of stuff in, you know, in, in my head, and, you know. Um, I work, like, 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 you know, like Derek said, work hard, you know, when no one's watching, and, you know, I'm always thinking about ball, always thinking about this, always thinking about the Raiders and, you know, my brothers and stuff, man. So it, it's, it's big. That's how I stay on, on top of my game, I feel like. You know, I could be riding in the car or be at home with my family, and, you know, I'm always just thinking about it, you know, so. Now, let's go back to your childhood uh, growing up. When did you decide to take football seriously, and what are your early memories of playing sports as a young athlete? I remember playing soccer, uh, you know, it's probably like fifth grade. Pops bought me a, a soccer soccer ball with the little net, and you could, like, hold it in your hand and kick it. Uh -huh. So that's what I remember. And, um, you know, I started playing football my junior year in high school. My first love was basketball, but I had a coach come up to me uh, my junior year, and he told me, man, you're going to have a chance to play football in college. And, you know, I kind of ran with it and, you know, started taking it serious, started working out in the off season, going to train and stuff, and, you know, that's what it's led to right now. Now, growing up, who were some of the athletes that you looked up to? Oh, uh, man, being in Tallahassee, Peter Ward was, was like my all-time favorite receiver. You know, uh, who else can I remember? Travis Minor, uh, Chris Winky, guys like that. You know, just the whole Florida State, that, that whole 90s era and early 2000 era. I was a, you know, a big Florida State fan. I used to go to the games all the time and you know, I used to be, like, heartbroken when they would lose. So, <laughs> yeah, that was real big in my life, like, early on. Now, what do you feel are some of the positive impacts sports has offered you growing up? Oh, man, just my legacy, you know, my life. Uh, without sports, I don't know where I would be, you know. Uh, my parents, they, they, they really implement, implemented that in my life early, and, you know, it has brought me a long way. Now, do you feel that being an athlete helped you as a student as well? And how did you balance the life of a student athlete in high school and in college? And how do you think that's helped you as a professional? Of course it has. You know, it makes you stay on top of your game, you know, study uh, for the classroom. And, you know, just being in school, I feel like made me want to, you know, be on top of my game in school and in sports because I couldn't wait to get out of school and go <laughs> play sports, you know. Now, I got to sit down with Jalen Ware right. last week. You guys both came from colleges in Alabama, right. and there's not really a whole lot of folks that come out of there. So nah. how does it feel for you, for you and Jalen to be on the same team here out in California and representing 
Alabama colleges? Well, it's awesome, man. You know, it's kind of like, no offense to Alabama, but we started off at, at the bottom. Now we're we here. Yeah, now we're in Cali, <laughs> uh -huh. big, big Cali. So it's an awesome feeling, man. You know, and uh, I'm, I'm glad, like, where I started and where I come from. You know, I'll never forget that, you know. That's why I am Seth Roberts, you know. So. Now, uh, you said you're done with being anonymous. Yeah. So what does that mean for this season? You know, just making plays. You know, uh, whenever my time is called, you know, just being positive, uh, making it happen for the Raiders and for my brothers, you know, for this whole organization. Now, here's a really great stat I'm sure you're proud of. I'm not sure if you know it, but the Raiders are 9-0 and when you score a touchdown. Oh, it's 10-0 and when, when you score a touchdown. So how does that make you feel, and what does that say to you about your role in this receiving core? Uh, you know, man, whenever it's in the air, just grab it, make it happen. Is it now Alabama Oakland uh, how's it been how have you feel have you felt embraced by the Raider fans do you enjoy playing for this community oh yeah I love playing for Oakland uh, you know Oakland has, has taught me a lot is this, this is home for me you know I love the the, the Raider uh, fans everybody man it's it, it's nothing like being a Raider I, I haven't been anywhere else but I know our fans have our back, and you know, this, with the whole organization, with, with our staff, our coaches, man, it's just like a family here right now, and we love what we're doing. Last question, because Oakland youth make up a big part of our audience. So for the young athletes out there, what piece of advice could you offer to them about work ethic and about going after your goals? Well. First of all, I just want to say if somebody's in their ear and they're telling telling them something, they, they're not going to tell them wrong. I want to tell them, you know, just listen, man. L listen to the elders because that's what I did. I, I listened to my elders. Uh, you know, people always came into my ear and was telling me, you know, good things, things that might happen, you know. And, and I really listened to it. You know, uh, you don't have to go and do what they say, but just really take initiative to it and, and, and listen and, you know, uh, just keep grinding, man, because you can make it out. Well, Seth, you are a perfect example of how hard work pays off, yeah. and I wish you all the best this season. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time to sit down with us. Definitely, definitely. Appreciate it. Until next week, this has been Lorelai Suarez with Inbounds with the Oakland Raiders. Thanks for tuning in.